hi um i'm olivia lopez uh, i'm 23 years old and i'm the founder of skin Mats. um i moved to belgium five years ago i lived three three years and a half uh, four years in ghent and uh, last summer uh, i moved to brussels I don't have an I don't have a real answer for this question. Uh, it's always like a constant search in what the answer to that question is. Um, it always depends on who is asking actually, and if I just had to answer like from myself. Um, I don't know. I always want to say I'm a citizen of the of the world, but that's very like cheesy. I feel like I belong more to um, like people, like friends and family, than to actual places and countries. Like, I don't feel like I specifically belong to a country um, because it's so mixed all together. Um, so, yeah, I, it's, it's a constant search to that answer, actually. Basically, um, so SkinMats is a platform for um, people that belong to different cultures um, and are part of different ethnicities. Um, so actually multicultural people, which is immigrants, kids of immigrants, mixed people, third culture kids. Like there are a lot of people that, that um, can relate to the concept of skin math. So I always see the need to talk about cultural identity um, because as soon as people know about skin maths, they, they want to they want to they really want to talk with me and understand what's about um so then i'm always like whoa okay this this is actually necessary because people always talk like about race and and countries and it's a very important subject to talk about but there are a lot of people that fall in between so in cultural identity and just multiculturalism um so skin is more focused on that and it started because um when I came to Belgium, so I was an exchange student uh, when I went to high school, um, and I came to Belgium for for high school, um, and I was the new girl. I was always the new girl, so people would ask me where I'm from, and I never knew how to answer the question because it was always so confusing. Because I would say Italy, and then I don't know, they would make like some stereotypical comments about Italy, and then I would have to say like, yeah, but it doesn't really it doesn't work with me because my parents are not Italian so then people were confused and I was confused and it was like a big confusion um, and then I went back to Italy and I started thinking like wait am I Italian because my mom is German and my dad is from Guatemala um, so there are a lot of cultures and I didn't really understand where I where I belonged and what my culture was um, and when I went back to Italy after my exchange year I started talking to people to friends that are also mixed um, and they were like, yeah, wait, I never thought about that. Yeah, actually, you're right. And I was like, why is nobody nobody talking about this? Um, so then SkinMath started and it started with um, interviews um, of people that I know, of friends and family and like my brother. Um, but then uh, Corona happened, so I couldn't do the interviews anymore uh, because I couldn't meet with people. So it started being more of a platform with different sources and then different elements. Um, and the goal is actually just to create a community. So there are kind of two goals with SkinMath. One goal is to create a community where people that relate to the, to the concept can feel understood. Um, so a, a community where I'm like, eh, I don't feel like I belong here. And immediately the other person understands what I'm saying, even if we come from different cult cultures and different um, backgrounds, there is always this common feeling. Um, so to be like a, a zone of comfort uh, for the people that relate to the subject. And on the other side, to show other people why it's important to talk about cultural identity, because I feel like a lot of people that have, um, that grew up in a country, that were born in a country, and their parents are from that country, they have this very simple idea of what it means to be from one nationality. Um, so then they don't understand the need for cultural identity because if you're Italian, you're just Italian. What's there to talk about? And it's like, there is a lot to talk about. Um, so it's a very abstract thing. Like if we talk about feelings and how do you feel, how I feel, all these things. But there is a need for change because there are some very concrete things like uh, citizenship laws and borders and all this. So 
there is actually a concrete need to talk about these things to create uh, a change. Um, so yeah, it's it's like two-sided. The goal of Skin Months is on one side to be like very flowery and this and that, and on the other side, more activism. Like my idea is to have one day the answer to the question, where are you from? Like me personally to find this answer. Um, and it's really cool because with Skin Months, I get to talk to a lot of different people and everybody gives me like their insights in what it means for them. Where are you from? What it means for them, like the question and the answer that they give. And there are always like new um, inputs that I get. And I'm like, oh, wow, I never thought about this. So in the long run, I hope to have an answer to this question um, or to find peace with the fact that there is no answer. It's important because like we can't stop globalization and people come in contact every day and multiculturalism is all around us. So it's important to come in contact with other cultures so that we can have like uh, a bigger uh, perspective of what the world is and just be more acceptable of like other people's culture, just behavior or language or whatever, and just be more open-minded. It's very, I feel like people that grew up in between different cultures um, already have this. It's like a autopilot that they know how to relate to people um, with maybe a culture, a background they're not used to um, because they had to switch like during their whole life between one culture and the other. Um, but there are a lot of people who still yeah, don't know how to do it. And they're very focused on what it means for them, like different concept, what it means for them. And that's it. Um, so it's just, yeah, to have like a bigger perspective of what the world is and somebody, something different is not better or worse. It's just different. And that's it. And maybe you don't agree with me, but you have to respect what I'm saying, what I do, and that's it.